Welcome to Internafi. It's December 24th, beer again 2015. Today I want to talk about minimizing. Stop minimizing and discounting your feelings. You have every right to feel the way you do. Your feelings may not always be logical, but they are always valid. Because if you feel something, then you feel it. And it's real to you. It's not something you can ignore or wish away. It's there, gnawing at you, tugging at your core. And in order to find peace, you have to give yourself permission to feel whatever it is you feel. You have to let go of what you've been told you should or shouldn't feel. You have to drown out the voices of people who try to shame you into silence. You have to listen to the sound of your own breathing and honor the truth inside you. Because despite what you may believe, you don't need anyone's validation or approval to feel what you feel. Your feelings are inherently right and true. They're important and they matter. You matter. And it is more than okay to feel what you feel. Don't let anyone, including yourself, convince you otherwise. I know it took me a while before I stopped minimizing and discounting my own feelings because I was that friend that whenever you needed me and I was already busy, I would always, at the drop of a hat, go along with whatever somebody else wanted me to do. And the only way I got out of that type of thinking was I started to build confidence from my work and job and I decided for my own sake that if anyone couldn't stand the same treatment they put me through and couldn't let me get through what I needed to get through like I let them get through what they needed to get through and they chose to discard me and walk away when I needed them the most then it would be a long time before they could get in front of my line. Think of it as a waiting list and as soon as you leave that waiting list you are no longer on that list. So when you do decide that you want to be put back on the list you're not going to be in the same place. You're going to be on the bottom of the list. And there are a lot of people on that list. Side note, and an all around good idea to think about, instead of thinking why is everything breaking around me, maybe think what has changed to make it that way? What constant thing in your life is making this happen. Perhaps, 9 out of 10 times, the thing just might be you. For instance, why doesn't somebody talk to me as much as they used to talk to me? Perhaps you did something to make them act that way towards you. And if that doesn't seem possible, maybe think deeper to some time in the past. Maybe you told them to go do something that didn't affect you in any way whatsoever. And so they did that and it took time away that they put towards you. And now they're spending that time doing something else. So perhaps it's really not them, it's you. Well, that's all I really wanted to talk about today. If you want to see more and be kept up to date, subscribe. Also check out some of my older stuff. If you enjoyed what you see, hit that like button. You can also comment and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!